Howdy my friends, John here with SP California Bushcraft. Welcome back to the channel. Today on this episode we are finally going to get our first official review after 8 months of testing of the Paratus 3 day gear pack. Stick around, we'll give you the full rundown. So obviously you guys may have noticed that there's a school behind me while I'm not out in the woods. Uh, today I actually just got done doing a bit of a hike. We did a bit of a hike. And unfortunately there wasn't really a good spot of things where I can actually show off the pack of the contents that are in, inside this particular pack I have on. But anyway, this is the Paratus Tree Veer Survival Pack. And I really do have to say uh, this pack is very nice here. It's very sturdy, very durable. Not to mention it feels like it's nice and comfortable. Now one thing you will notice for sure is that I do have my upper chest strap hooked up to my pack right now on my, on my chest, that's okay. And it's also got a really a very nice waist strap which, which fits me actually pretty good here. I've got the, I've got the tires all nice and set. Now the one thing I do like about this potato, a couple of things I like so far about the pack when I first started testing it. First of all is the waist strap. The waist strap actually ties on the sides on here. And here on this side of the pack here so that makes this pack very easy to maintain and keep an eye out not to mention too it's also a lot of fun to use Ooh, sorry guys it's really warm out here today even though the wind blowing it's still warm and it's also very and it's also very comfortable it's a very comfortable pack as you can see there's about there's a very good amount of gear in this and not had a chance to wait to see how much gear is actually in this pack but we're going to give you the full rundown of the pack and what's inside of it so pack itself is made of 1000 D Cordura, so it's, so it's very, very nice, very sturdy, uh, very durable. I will have links in the video description box where you can pick up this pack over on 3V Gear's website. Very nice, it's very easy, easy. Comes in multiple colors. The one I have on is the brown color. They've also got camel green, and they've also got a black pack. They've also got a blue pack as well. People are driving past me and are being nosy. Those are rats. Anyway. Back to what I was talking about about this particular pack. So, uh, comfortability, very comfortable, very, very nice and easy to handle. It's pretty good on my back, no problems whatsoever. And plus, so I've also and there's a lot of great features about this pack. So, let me go ahead and get the pack off. We'll start talking about what's inside and we'll go over the contents as well. packet it sits up against my back here now as you can see there is this very nice this is very nice there you got the 3v gear logo right alone here and it's very well uh, stretched out so that way there's a lot of air that comes through especially on your back side especially if it's hot uh, like a day like today the there's also low lifters toward the top of the pack right here and as you can see there are you can there's some writing there uh, let's see it's Vinny Vidi Vici. I don't remember exactly what that means. And I do apologize for that. So let's talk about what's. Let's talk about the the, back, the main pack. The general information about the pack. As you can see, it's very large, very good size. It's a three days operators pack. You got two side pouches on the side of the pack, and then you've also got a belt pouch that you can also use as a fanny bag as well. So let's go ahead and take the pouches off, and then what we'll go ahead and do is talk about the contents and what's inside these uh, these particular pouches here. So ah, there we go. I'm only going to take off one of the pouches just so you guys can see. As you can see on this side right here, there's plenty of molly webbing in which this particular pouch connects to on this side on the other side as well the other pouch also has the same thing molly webbing on both the front of the bag and there's a lot of molly webbing on the side of the bag so i can actually put that more in here if, um, if i wanted to now the cool thing about these two pouches both uh, this pouch here and this pouch here is not only do you have the molly webbing on the pouches but you've also got a velcro on the inside of 
this, which is which I think is actually pretty cool, especially if you want to take this on the side of packing with an attached TSG valve instead. So I think that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and we'll put this back this back here on the side. Mega hand warmers, especially when it's cold, these come in very handy. There's about, there's two of them in there. We've got a Yuko, a Yuko waterproof container with striker, cotton material, waterproof matches. There's also additional striker in there as well. Cooligans waterproof matches as a spare backup. And I've also got a um, USC Ultra U Dig It Light Survival Shovel. And uh, these shovels do come in handy, especially if you have to go to the bathroom or if you want if you wanted to, if you wanted to go to make a uh, to make a uh, fire. straps back into uh, these molly webbings here but that's okay There we go. So that's the, uh, so that's this side of the pouch. And on, on the other, on the other side of the bag, of, the, of my bag, I've also got my survival hatchet. This is the Gerber, Gerber Gear um, Pocket Gator 2. And this also has a backup uh, Fontaine knife. You saw me do a review on this one not too long ago. Very nice hatchet, by the way. Very, very nice hatchet. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the contents of the other pouch, which is going to be this guy right here. Now with this guy, I've got a monocular. This is my uh, Bear Grylls monocular.
seat. We've also got some um, alcohol. I need to refill this up for an alcohol stove. I carry my pack. Do that time when I get home. I've got a stainless steel canteen that, if I'm not mistaken, let me check it. Yep, I was right. Phew. Uh, this one, this also has some alcohol too for the alcohol stove. Put that aside. I've also got some more tinder. These are Ziplocs. Got about one, two, three, five Ziplocs in this little pouch right here. Put these guys back into the bag. Now, one thing you will notice, I'm going to go ahead and bring the zoom the camera in a little bit here. If you're looking at the um, side of the bag there. I'm going to change my ankle here a little bit. There we go. You will notice. Come on, focus. You will notice that on the on the Molly webbing on the pouches, it is all double and triple stitch. This whole bag is like that. This whole this entire backpack is completely double and triple stitch, and it's which makes it very very nice here. I'm going to go ahead and. Disable the fanny pack portion so I can show you what's inside and we'll go on to that part next and that's, This is actually one of, the, one of the cool features about one cool feature about this particular another cool feature About uh, this particular pack. So stick with me All right, so as you can see right now, we've got the fanny pack off the pack We've got we've got the uh, duffel bag off the bottom of this pack and as you can see um, There's still a lot of body webbing in which the molly bag does attached to but it does look kind of weird without that pack but it's still a neat system now. So I'm gonna go and lay this back here. So this is the fanny pack system. Now, interesting factor about this is that this does have these uh, metal beamer, metal, metal carabiners on the back of the on the back of the pack. I don't know why they even decide to put that, but on the right side though, this does, this does actually allow um, the straps to be more secure. To the back of the pack and one thing I can go ahead and do is if I wanted to is I can actually uh, string this onto a piece of rope here which is a pretty cool feature now the belt itself go ahead and open up this guy here I want to make sure you guys can see this so as you can see, I mean, the guy, this this little guy here, is riding pretty high on me. But what I can do is I can go ahead and loosen the straps a little bit more, give me some more slack, and then I can wear this on my shoulder as like a haversack. Or if I wanted to, I could actually take these guys off the beamers or put her attaches to my belt. I can wear it on my back, as you can see, as a butt pack. Now. Um, one problem I did run into was disabling these straps. As you can see, they are both Velcro and button straps. I actually broke the button on one of these guys trying to get this through to make the fanny pack portion to use the, this guy as a waist belt, but that's okay. Um, I won't really, I don't think I would use the waist belt unless I absolutely have to, but if I did, I can always use this guy, which is fine with me. So let's go ahead and talk about the contents of the pack. We're going to start off with uh, the two side, the two side pouches. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about this. Let's go and talk about the contents of this little pack right here. So starting off with the side pouch, there are three pouch, there are three uh, four pockets. One in the front, also some molly webbing in the front as well. Two on the side, molly webbing as well on the sides. And then the main pouch, which is right here on top. We're going to start off with the side pockets. Starting off with this side, we've got Bear Girls Holy Knife. We've got a USD Ultimate Survival Ultimate um, 
Ultimate Survival Technologies um, Fire Steel and Fire Steel and Ferro Rod Striker and Ferro Rod combo. Also got a pocket tool. This is the Gerber pocket tool. I do have to say uh, this particular pocket tool is a very nice pocket tool. I actually do like this a lot. And I like I like the fact that a lot of the tools are accessible from the outside of the pocket tool. So that's very cool. We're not going to go into details about this. We'll talk about this in another video. That's the first side patch. Second side patch. We've got an ace bandage. Wrap my leg, wrap myself in case something's wrong with my arm or my leg or my foot. It does come in handy. Small big lighter. Uh-oh. Front pouch, Bear Grylls fuel sharpener, headlamp, AAA batteries by Rayback, very nice headlamp by the way, simple and easy, and of course small carabiners, spatula, you never know, and that's about it. Probably have to Add some more stuff into uh, this little bugger when I get home. Alright, now let's go into the main pouch. First thing, fill back outpost, uh, fat rope. Got three of them, this is fire tender. I'm probably gonna take I'm probably gonna take this guy out and use this in the bush crack kit, even though I got a fat you know, actually, no, I'll leave this in here. Never mind, never mind. So yeah, fill back off post fire rope, alcohol stove, SOL emergency escape by me, leather gloves, and an inflatable belt. as well so I might go ahead and just take it out and what we're gonna go ahead and do is put it back together Pull back my 3B on my pack here, and then I can go ahead and reattach this. So now we've got the 
two main pouches. This is one of them, and then this is the big pouch. I'm gonna go ahead and unbuckle the sides. I'm gonna start off with this pouch here. So on this one, got an emergency kit. Sawyer water filtration system. An extra squeeze bag. Emergency blanket. Coleman's saw. Got some more fire blocks in here. Uh, my stove. This is the Emberlit stove. I like the stove a lot. Got a deck of playing cards, which do come in handy, especially if you're bored. Keeps your mortar up too. I've also got these learn to live cards which has different types of rope techniques in case I need it. It's not a bad idea to have one of these. Paracord. All of these are 100 or about 50 pieces. Clean canteen, as well as a plastic water bottle, which come to think of it. Oh, I needed that. All right, next thing, got my the cooksa. Double nest hammock. Bear Girls Ultimate Pro Knife. Got a water, I think got another water filter. This is a bigger one. Not a bad idea to have either. Got another soul emergency escape baby. This is a bigger one. And I've got my Ultimate Survival Technologies base tube tarp. This is good for not only as a tarp, we can, this can also turn into a tent as well. I've got a UST, uh, i got a light my fire uh, plate set. It does have some spices and a few other things. For food, you never know. And I've also got my GSI coffee pot, uh, water cookie pot. On the inside of it, I do have Gorilla Tape, folding bucket, and a kitchen sink. Yeah, a kitchen sink. Go figure. Guys are probably worrying about the bucket too. Well, the, the reason why I have the bucket is so that way that if I make a fire, when I'm done with it, I can put it out. And, and of course, let's see. Atlas straps. Jesus, we knew I could get some stuff in this thing. An air mat. And of course, tent stakes. Yeah, all that stuff fit into this 
into this little pack, into this pack here. Now, now this pack is designed to allow you to carry a um, hydration bladder. Because of the amount of stuff that I have on here, uh, bladder, don't get me wrong, the bladder was not uh, comfortable whatsoever, but it did kind of feel a little weird. So while I'm pulling this, while I'm pulling this thing away and back to back in order here, there's a couple of things in this pack I may take out, I may not, I haven't decided yet. Um, let's talk about some pros and cons. Uh, pros, obviously, is comfort. Uh, the pack is, itself is very, very comfortable. It's easy to handle, easy to use, and it fits pretty comfortable in my back, even with all the stuff on here. Now, I hiked, I've done about so far about 20 miles with this pack here and there every now and then and I have not complained I've been pretty comfortable uh, with this pack I think the only thing I would probably do differently is I'm probably going to go ahead and use you guys have seen before but um, I do have a the Bear Grylls canteen system so I think what I'll do is I'll take this one out and put this in my day hike bag and put the Bear Grylls canteen system into this pack instead <clears throat> so but it tastes good. Um, let's see. Second pro. Um, stitching on this pack is phenomenal. Again, as I mentioned, you saw when I was showing you the side pouches, the stitching on this pack is double stitch all the way around. And that's, it is phenomenal. Fant uh, fantastic system the way it is built. And it's also very durable. Um, third thing, water resistant. It's not waterproof. But it is water resistant, so it will shade water. As you can see, whoops. There we go. <laughs> you never know. I don't want to be safe. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Any water got me too. Yeah, I was right. Uh, okay, well, that's okay. And like I said, water resistant but not waterproof. So it is water resistant, but not waterproof. Remember that. Um, fourth thing. Um, definitely the price is the fourth thing, especially if you're looking for a pack something like that is something of this style that is tough, that is durable, and you're not gonna spend a fortune on. You guys wanna take a wild guess how much this pack cost me? Hmm? Go ahead, take a guess. I'll give you 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. <laughs> So the price of this particular pack here was $69.99. Can you believe that? $69.99. And that includes the two side pouches and the butt back. And I thought that is unheard of. I mean, that is just fascinating in my opinion. So I thought, you know what? Okay, that's pretty damn good. I mean, this is honestly worth uh, this pack right here. Well, I think the I think the two con two main cons I would say actually three cons I don't know if people are want this or not but it's you never know on the bottom of the pack as you can see there is no drainage holes so in case water does get into the pack there's no way for the wire to escape so it's actually going to stay uh, stuck on the pack itself um, there's no straps there's no molly on the bottom of the pack if you want to strap on a 
backpack or maybe a wool blanket or something. Um, you can obviously try to get away by plugging, plugging the straps, the molly strap, or rubbing through these straps right here, right beyond the butt pack and stuff. So that could possibly work. And then the last thing, but not least thing, with this pack, um, what I would have liked to see quick release buttons on the straps. Not sure if that would have raised the cost anymore, but still, all in all, I like it. So that about wraps up this review on my Paratus 3-day gear survival pack, 3-day three three survival pack. I'm going to be posting links in the description below and YouTube and where you can find out where you can get this pack. I am also going to be posting a link to another YouTuber's box named the Sensible, called the Sensible Prepper. Um, very awesome gentleman. He is the one that inspired me to get this pack in the first place. I really like this pack and plus two for the price. You can't honestly go wrong with a price like that. I mean, for $69.99, that's a steal. And what I'm also going to go ahead and do is that if you... At the end of the video, I'm gonna in the video description, I'm gonna be posting links to other types of packs that I've looked at in, in detail as well as your prices. And I'm also gonna post in the video description in the video as well. At the end of this video, there's gonna be some more pictures of this pack as well as a full layout of what the pack is and what, what it's made of and all the materials. And same thing as well with the other packs that I've looked at as well in prices. So if you guys if you so if you guys have any questions please leave me a comment down in the bottom. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for joining me today. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button for more videos. And more importantly, stay safe, be well, and enjoy the outdoors. Thank you for joining me today. Bye.